So let us say you have done a good job of shaking the contents of the subfunnel. Place the subfunnel back. And I don't know whether you had noticed it or not, that, but definitely I had noticed that the solution in here was a little bit cloudier than it is now. It was cloudier because there was moisture associated with it. And this sodium chloride took away that moisture, making the layer appear clear. So those are all the observations that you must be noting. And what was I doing now? I was rinsing my stopper after each extraction. So because the two layers are so clear, it may be hard for you to see where the demarcation is in between. So you may have to hold a piece of paper towel or a piece of Kim wipe and notice where it is. It is going to be difficult, but as you start draining the solution, you will be able to see the layer separation better. Notice that I had the waste beaker uh, sitting under the set funnel. That is where I'm going to collect the bottom aqueous layer because I do not want this bottom aqueous layer to go into my other aqueous layer. So this is waste. So let us drain this waste. Again, the bottom layer is the saturated sodium chloride aqueous solution layer. So that will be the aqueous waste. As I said, now I can see the boundary here coming down. As it comes down, it is much more easy to note where it is. We'll go slowly and stop. So what I did now was the first stage in drying. The second stage in drying or the second step in drying is to dry this organic solution over a solid drying reagent. So how do we do that? You put this waste beaker aside. Remember I had taken this 125 ml Erlenmeyer flask labeled organic. I am going to drain this organic layer into that clean dry 125 ml Erlenmeyer flask. And I can leave this open now. I'm not afraid that it will run out or the second layer will go into it because I have only one layer here anyway. So let us drain all of it. And to ensure that there is no organic component left in the set funnel, we can rinse this by squirting some ethyl acetate. I have the stopcock open. That is just fine. So this is to make sure that we collect all of the organic layer, just a few drops here and there. And also it will clean my sub funnel, uh, you know, and we, 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 this will be ready for our next uh, separation. So once you have drained all of the organic solution, we can stop this, take out this Erlenmeyer flask. And if you want, you can keep the waste beaker underneath here as usual. Now I am going to add a solid drying reagent to this organic layer. 